Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're gonna do a Christmas gift idea that I have using these Dollar Tree clipboards. They're just made out of that MDF. So I grabbed a few of those. So you'll need that. Um, you're gonna need, if you do it like I am, you could use some painter's tape, chalk paint. I will tell you, um, I tried using acrylic paint and this absorbs it at a really bizarre rate. If you only have acrylic paint at home, use some Mod Podge to seal it and then try painting over a, several coats. If not, chalk paint works the best. Fun fact, this was $6 at Hobby Lobby, not on sale, eight ounces. It's actually cheaper to buy the two ounce bottles at Dollar Tree. Just so, a little aside. Um, you're going to want, depending on what designs, a ruler, a pencil, and one of these white erasers. They do a good job of erasing marks without leaving anything behind. So definitely have those. I have some polyurethane I'm going to seal mine with. You can use Mod Podge. Um, I grabbed some glue sticks. I picked up the sticker packs or sticker sheets at Hobby Lobby to match what I wanted to make for the girls. Um, there's some sticker, some stickers of people, just kind of positive affirmation. So you, this, I am using a Cricut. You do not have to use a Cricut. I got these stickers at Hobby Lobby. They were 40% off when I purchased them. Um, I keep these baby wipes on hand. They're mostly water because paint. Um, for me, I needed a sanding block. And like I said, I am using my Cricut. So we're gonna do first, take this. If you wanna make any type of pattern on it as far as, like I did a, a border of white and then pink at the top. So I measured and then I used painter's tape. You can paint the whole thing one solid color. Like I said, it does take a, several coats. So I already went through and painted them all because it does take some time to dry. But on my, this is one that I was doing for me. I really wanted to incorporate this navy blue plaid tissue paper that I bought. So I cut it to match. Now you can do Mod Podge. I'm gonna try glue sticking it. I've heard that you get less wrinkles if you glue stick. Now, if you see here, I only did one coat of the white paint on this because it, I'm covering it. So I didn't care if it was 100%. I just wanted to be able to see it through. I wanted it to be white behind the tissue paper, if that makes sense. So we're doing a really good job here of covering. And I, for this situation, I kind of do enjoy that it's purple because I can see where it's at and if it has dried or not. So we're just gonna do that. I'll clean that up in a second. Now, the way I cut this, is so that I know where to put the blue, right? Oopsie, oopsie. Hey, that's not too bad, it came right up. So what I need to do is try to make sure I get a straight line up top. And I'm still getting a little bit of wrinkles, but I'm just really not mad about it. I am gonna Mod Podge over this but you just want to kind of rub with your fingers and that really did get most of the wrinkles out. I wanna let this dry for sure, but how I get it off, you can cut it, but honestly, just rubbing it with a sanding block from the Dollar Tree, I just feel like always gets me the cleanest edge instead of trying to cut it along the edge. And then you just, Ooh, I'm trying not to get all blinky on you, but there, I mean, it, it does a great job. You just don't want to go over, over much, but done. And that's what it's gonna look like with the plaid. On the back, I did have, I used Mod Podge. There's a couple wrinkles, but here's the fun thing. I don't, I'm trying really hard not to go for perfection. Um, these wipes are kind of amazing, not gonna lie. 
for cleanup. Especially if you get like paint or something, it, they're not they're not a strong chemical. So it's just gonna keep, take the, a little bit of the blue off. This is the one that I did with acrylic paint. I even sealed the front, it's just not perfect. The back, I did multiple, multiple layers of blue, but I didn't have any blue chalk. So I'm gonna let that dry. Done and done. Guys, this is so quick and easy. Okay, now on this one here, my chalk paint got a little thick. I just took my, my and did that. Oops, sorry. And made it you know, smooth. But here's what I've done to the back. I put these stickers. So there's a girl, some books, glasses, let's go on an adventure. And I've decided for Sarah, I'm gonna do her name on the back of the clipboard. And I did this with my Cricut. And I'm using Dollar Tree transfer tape and it's, it's okay. It's weird. It's a weird type of tape. It's almost like a cellophane but it works, so I'm not gonna complain. Although still more bang for your buck is to get the clear um, shelf liner, but I wanted to try this. So I've decided on Sarah, putting hers on the back, like that. And I need to find my little doodah here. Right, just burnish it down a little bit and then gently pull off. And I say gently because you don't wanna take the tape or the paint off. If you do, it's okay. You can go back in and touch it up. But do you hear that weird? <laughs> it's a very strange texture. But like I said, it works and that's Sarah's. That's going to be the back of her clipboard. I'm going to leave the front of hers plain. Then what I'm going to do next is take this one coat polyurethane and I'm going to put a one coat on it to seal it and then I will do the front as well to seal it. So that's what it would look like on the back. Here is mine, which I need to seal with as well. Um, but I'm going to do on the back of mine, I cut out, I'll show you what it's going to say. And then I will show you how I will put the stickers on the next one that I'm doing. But guys, this is like super easy and sorry, I got to be able to see. It's so easy. And if you don't want to use, if you don't have a Cricut or want to use a Cricut, you can print it on paper, what you want to put down. You can use stickers. Like, you do not have to have a Cricut to do these crafts. I do have a Cricut, and honestly, it makes it easier. I'm not going to fib there. But if you don't have one, it doesn't have to. All right, I need, I'm not sticking very good here, so I'll be right back. Okay, I did my crazy life. So I did my channel, oops, my channel name on here. And I'm just gonna rub it down, take my burnisher. And I wanted mine on the back as well. And this is just personal preference 
you can decorate obviously any side of the clipboard that you want to personalize. How fun is that guys? I love it. And then I just need to seal it in. Now that's not, that might come off because I don't really see it very well. So I'll show you how easy if you make a mistake. Since it hasn't had a chance to set up, there, it came right off. So it's just my crazy life. I love it. Now, so these will get sealed. For Lucy, Sarah's friend, I'm doing the front with her name. And then, I don't know if I, I think I'll do the stickers on the front as well. So we'll put Lucy right there. That's just a sticker with a, a gyro on it. And then for her, I thought I would use the, one of these stickers. It's a typewriter and it says, today is your day. And we'll put that up here and you can just put them wherever you want. That's the beauty of creativity, guys. And then I figured I would do, ooh, a latte. Her girl needs a latte. Maybe that half and half. And I do like some of these positive affirmation words. Like, hello, beautiful. Put that right there. And I think that is super, super fun. Maybe we'll do fabulous. And you can put these wherever you like. No rhyme, no reason. And then I think the last one we'll put right in the center it says live your life. And these are just stickers, done. So I'm gonna seal all these up and I will show you the finished product when they are dry. Here they are, guys. Oh, I love them. I think these are gonna be so fun to make as gifts for people. Personalized with some office supplies or bullet journals. This was my practice round. I do need to put one more layer of coating or sealant on that one. But I love them and I hope you do too. Thanks.